Tonight we have live crews across the area to check in on your communities, to tell your stories and to document our battle back from the disaster. The eyes of Washington are now focused on southwest Florida as our nation's leaders were here today to see all that damage. President Biden along with First Lady Dr. Jill Biden and members of the White House staff in Fort Myers along Fort Myers Beach to talk with the government and Lee County leaders as they were here in southwest Florida, which is also where Nadine Giannis is tonight, right where the president was earlier today. What was his message, Nadine? Oh, hey, Chris and Katie, good afternoon. Yes, you're right. The president's message right, wrapping up saying we will get through this. The president spending about an hour doing an aerial tour of the damage right here uh, in Lee County. I was standing at the, the foot of the San Carlos Bridge as a line of helicopters uh, saw the president touring the area, heading all the way into Sanibel and into Lee County. The president, in his own words, saying he knows that on the ground it's, quote, a hell of a lot worse, which is an understatement for us who have been living in this devastation for now the last week. The president delivering his remarks, speaking at 3.05, which was the exact time one week ago, Hurricane Ian made landfall right off our coast on Cayo Costa. But the president says that it's not gonna take months, it will take years to rebuild and Washington will be here to help with that. Already in the immediate response, it was one of the largest search and rescue missions ever federally with 17 crews ready to go, knocking on 70,000 doors, rescuing 2,800 people. This is just the federal search and rescue teams, not the state teams that we've seen embedded here on the beach. 24,000 federal personnel uh, now here looking and assessing damage, looking at buildings, and of course, helping you with uh, FEMA assistance. Let's take a listen at what President Biden had to say in his message for Southwest Florida tonight. We're not leaving. We're not leaving until this gets done. I promise you that. You, know, you got to start from scratch. Got to move again. And it's going to take a lot, a lot of time, not weeks or months. It's going to take years for everything to get squared away in the state of Florida to fully recover and rebuild. And what does this mean for Southwest Floridians? I have had people stop me saying they wanted the president to come because with that brings the national press to show the devastation that we are, are dealing with and the help that is needed. Uh, I was actually right standing right here as uh, local leader, Senator Marco Rubio, uh, Nikki Fried, the Agriculture Commissioner, even the town of Fort Myers Beach mayor uh, and uh, the fire commissioner. They all were walking down to meet with the president and I wanted to speak to our local leaders. They're the ones who have been heart. Actually, four of the five councilmen on Fort Myers Beach lost everything. So uh, the vice mayor shaking to me, uh, shaking with me. She didn't want to talk, but we did speak with the fire commissioner to talk about what it meant, what it means to Southwest Florida when we have a presidential visit like this. Locally here, I mean, it's currently the estimates are 85 percent of all structures on Estero Island, Fort Myers Beach and San Carlos Island have been destroyed. Uh, of businesses, the only businesses that have not been destroyed are uh, Pink Shell, uh, Diamond Head, and the restaurant at uh, Snook Bite. So it means a lot that the president- oh, oh yeah, I mean, he's here to show, and I hope he says that he's gonna do everything the federal government can and so what does this mean to you, our Southwest Floridians who are desperate for help? It looks like the FEMA disaster, the individual disaster assistance is set up, ready to go, up to $37,000 that you can get to repair your homes or if you're underinsured or didn't have flood insurance. Also, he's offering small business loans, up to $2 million for small businesses and $200,000 in loans for homeowners at an at a interest rate of just 1.5%. All of this you can set up at now a FEMA a disaster recovery center set up right next to the state recovery center in Fort Myers. Three more FEMA disaster recovery uh, centers will be popping up tomorrow. The president promising that he will be here to help. And it's not a sight you see often, Chris uh, and Katie, when you see a Democratic president standing next to a Republican uh, governor putting politics aside to come together for Southwest Florida. And I'm sure that is an inspiring message for our community and our neighbors here tonight. We're going to have so much more uh, from the president's visit throughout the evening. It really just shows the urgency of the situation where you're getting state and federal leaders meeting together on this.